Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my gosh. Why am I, have I not sat down and filmed? Ugh, there's a thousand reasons why. But anyways, I wanted to film some of my current favorites. Now these are like lifestyle favorites, beauty favorites. Um, I got a huge um, K-Beauty haul that I've been trying a bunch of the products out. I wanted to just sit and do my makeup talk about my favorites and just show you guys some of the things that I've been using while I do my makeup. So I don't think I've sat on camera and done my makeup in like months and months and months to be honest. Like the last several videos I filmed, they've just been me coming on camera with my makeup fully done. I honestly can't remember the last time I was on here doing my makeup. So um, also a lot of you guys have been asking for a weight loss update. And I, I haven't done one since my original um, video. Of course, I've lost a lot more maintained. And then, um, you know, I have more tips to share on that aspect. So I will be doing another weight loss type video. But today I wanted to just share with you my favorites, a couple of things. And I did have some companies reach out to me to send me some stuff. And if I liked it, I could share it with you. I got some discount codes from them for those items. Um, so the first one I'm going to start out with is I'm going to flip to a scene. I already filmed this scene of my me showing you. This is a wine cooler fridge. And I was super excited about this because I just, I absolutely love the look of it. And, um, I've been keeping wine because, you know, it's 50 wine bottles and homie doesn't have that many wine bottles. So I am also keeping other beverages in it. It goes down to 41 degrees, so it keeps my other beverages cold enough. And uh, yeah, so I've been using it. We put it in our kitchen. So I'm going to show you that. I do have a discount code for that. Okay, one of my new lifestyle favorites is this wine fridge. This is the New Air Freestanding 50 bottle wine fridge. And it's got a really quiet, powerful compressor on it, which I really like. It rolls on wheels, so it's like very easy to kind of move around if you're adjusting. Because when we first got it, we were trying to figure out where are we going to put this, so we just like put it in our kitchen. Um, so I was trying to figure out how how to move it, and it just rolls really, really easily, which we loved. It goes from 41 degrees to 64 degrees, and I like typically like based off of like what you drink, like red or white wine. So if you're drinking white wine, which is the majority of what we have in there right now is white wine. Um, I, I'm keeping it on 40 degrees. So it has this panel right here, it has a thing for the light. And so I'm keeping it on 41 degrees because I keep mainly like soft reds, whites, and I have um, water in here as well. And then I just put some of my protein shakes and, um, but yeah, so I keep it on the setting for 41 degrees just to keep it like as cold as possible. And I've just really, really loved it. They did send this to me to try out. I was super excited because I just love the look of like, they have tons of different kinds of beverage fridges, wine fridges. They have a beer froster, which I did get that as well. So I will, we're gonna be trying that out. My husband drinks a ton of like craft beer. So he's gonna be trying out that and I will share with you that, but they did give me a discount code. So I think you get about $75 off using my discount code. So I'll leave the link in the discount code down below, but we've really been enjoying this. Like I said, I added other beverages to it just because I figured, well, I'll just have other things in here and see how that works as well. It keeps those cold as well, but if you are going to be storing red wine in here, you can crank it all the way up to 64 degrees. Um, you know, just to keep it chilled. But like I said, since I am keeping other beverages and the majority of my wine is white wine, we keep it on the low. It does, the racks inside are removable, so you can adjust them based on what you, what you, like what size you want, but which, which I prefer. So if you did want to take out the bottom racks and stand some wine bottles up, you could also do that. Uh, but 
I just have it so you can have 50 bottles. It will hold 50 full bottles of wine in here. Um, we don't have 50 bottles of wine, so we just don't keep that much wine on hand. You guys know I'm on Weight Watchers. I can incorporate wine into my day using points for it. Um, so I, I do just stick with white wine because that's what I prefer if I am going to incorporate in my day. So we only have a few bottles of wine on hand so that's why I filled up the rest. But if you are a major, major wine connoisseur and you're looking for something, this is great. So I'm gonna leave the link down below. But this is for sure a lifestyle favorite. And like I said, if you aren't looking for wine and you're just looking for like a cool beverage fridge, um, I, they do have several different options. They even have this really super cool French door option. So I'll leave all the information down below and let me just show you some of my other all time favorites for the month. Okay, so yeah, I love the wine fridge. If you guys are interested, I'll leave that down below. The other sort of lifestyle favorite, you guys, I ordered this Barefoot Dreams robe. This is in a size two. And I probably could have gone smaller than that, maybe the size one. You guys, it is so soft. I got this from, basically what I love about it is like, it, if you wanted one of their blankets, this really just is like the blanket, but it's the robe and you can just feel like you're wrapped up in one of the blankets. So it's almost like a glorified Snuggie, I mean, it's a robe, but you just feel like nice and cuddly. It's a weird time to say that for like winter time or summertime. Like this is more of like a winter time favorite, but I've been loving it. Just chilling around the house with this. So I had to mention this. I'll link the exact one that I got. It was like a Nordstrom exclusive. So it was $99, which I know is a lot for a um, robe, but robe slash blanket. So amen to that and then also this is i'm not saying this is a favorite or anything but i do have the new urban decay naked um ultraviolet palette now i'm not going to use that today i have i still want to do a full review on that i don't know like if people are really that still that interested in it it's one of those things where i feel like sometimes people are interested and then sometimes they're just like the naked palettes how do people feel about them these days um, I also got this off of Amazon. This is from Kish, K K Kitsch, whatever hair things. I like it to like hold my hair back when I'm gonna be doing my makeup. Um, okay, so like I said, I did a K-Beauty haul off of Yes Style. You guys have to, I, I am just like so excited. I ordered a ton of sunscreens because it was really important to me, me and all of my girls, uh, really like go through sunscreen like crazy. I wanted very specific sunscreens. I've heard a lot, my friend Dana, she's always told me like such great things about like Korean beauty sunscreen. So I got the Thank You Farmer Sun Protect Water Sun Cream. This is an um, SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. I love this so much. It's almost like a it's a cream consistency, but it almost like kind of goes in and like soaks into your skin, like very like almost like a lotion, but but very like with like a water type base to it. So this has been one of my ultimate favorites. I will link all of these products on Yes Style so you can check them out and shop them. Um, and then these two are from Misha and i love them this is the soft finish sun milk spf 50. this one just smells really really good it has a little bit more of like a as you can see it sort of drips a watery consistency um but it just rubs in like a, a nice i just, i love the scent of them it rubs in like a nice lotion um again this one is spf 45 so 50 and 45 both of these I love. I think I actually like this, the Essence one, a little bit better than this one. Um, I, I just like the feeling of how this one dries a little bit more on the skin. It's less watery, more, more like hydrating is what I would say. 
um, this one more like a cream, so I love that. I have to put sunscreen on every single morning. I've already put it on, but I'm just like, you don't want to waste the product. So anyways, I love this sunscreen, but I go on walks in the morning here in Texas. I always have to be protected because like even right around here, like I'm getting like from getting constant sunburns. Um, over the years, I have a lot of sun damage up near my scalp, so I'm like very sure to put on sunscreen. Um, so I've been loving those. Another product, and so I'm going to start applying now. Another product I've loved is this is from BDL. This is the Luma Layer Primer Base Illuminator. It comes in like such a beautiful bottle. Like, let me just show you guys this on the skin like look at the glow that this gives it just gives this really pretty instant luminosity to the skin so um i just apply have been applying this all over my face so i put my sunscreen on first which i told you i already have on today because i've already been outside um but this just gives like a beautiful like glow I've just been going really light with my foundation, um, using a lot of like CC creams and that. Today I'm going to use, um, I love this, this is the Light Illusion Makeup from uh, Flower Beauty. But first I'm going to go in with my brows. So I've been using the CoverGirl Brow Pencil. This is the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. I just really have loved this. and. Um, I feel like it's a really good price. You find it at your grocery store. So if you're like doing grocery shopping, if right now you're like not about to get out in the mess and like go shopping, you can always find this like while you're or add it to like your click list or whatever. So I like the soft brown, even though my eyebrows, they're always just so much darker than my hair. And, um, I just feel like it fills it in really, really nicely since it's ultra fine and it does a really nice brush stroke. So I've been loving this one. So basically I've just been doing like a very, very simple look and I recently started using some older MAC eyeshadows. So that's what I'm gonna use today because that's what I've been using. I really love the older MAC eyeshadows it just reminds me of the time when I started makeup, like started into makeup and like MAC was like the thing that I would buy. So this is a Patrick Star Quad and Goal Getter and it just has soft brown, Swiss chocolate and I'm into it. So I go between soft brown and Swiss chocolate, these two right here. Soft brown, I mean it's part of their permanent line, it's just one of those classic shades. So honestly I just dip into that and really quick prime my lid first. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use this Benefit Stay Don't Stray um, to prime my lids. Or you can just use concealer to be honest. I'm just going to dip into soft brown and I'm just going to start by like buffing that in. I mean this shade like really just is one that's just like a classic staple to have in your collection. So I've just been enjoying like the simplicity. I know that sounds crazy, but the simplicity of life, like right now, yes, it's hard to sort of like be home and like each state is kind of on its own lockdown or not lockdown or opening up or phases of opening up but I've kind of just enjoyed like being with my kids and being one of the only influences in their life right now in like such crucial times in their life where like outside influences social media all that kind of stuff like my kids are on social media but like do you know what I mean? Like friends and social media and since I have all girls, you know girls are catty, like not my girls, but I mean, I'm sure they will be, but girls in school are catty and so like the only thing that I've just really enjoyed is just really being able to like speak into my daughter's lives about just 
friendships and life and just really have this time to like utilize being super present in their life. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of like all the positives that go along with being home, you know, all the positives because there are so many negatives or scary things to think about. Um, so I'm going to go into Swiss chocolate. Um, but anyway, <laughs> With that being said, I do, in Texas, like, a lot of stuff is open, so I do get out and go to the gym, um, safely, of course, but I haven't, I've gone out, like, a couple of times with some friends to, like, a restaurant, but it's very difficult, uh, because I just don't have, like, a ton of places to go where I'm wearing, like, full makeup anymore, um, but, you know, I have been trying to like get ready sometimes just for my own like enjoyment so I don't know where you guys are all at with your whole if you're getting ready or if you're wearing makeup or if you're still trying products or like where that's at but I just figured I have not sat down and like done my makeup and talked about my favorites and these are my like current favorite products so like I said these two eyeshadows which are part of the permanent collection. I just have them in this palette. Soft brown and Swiss chocolate are typically what I do. And sometimes I will just honestly leave it at that. But recently I was like, you know what? I really kind of want like an olive -y color. So I went into like, this is like such an old quad. So they had it where you could like make your own quad. These are all my own eyeshadows. Honestly, like this one is like a pressed pigment that I made. But this is Sumptuous Olive, and I think it's one of those, like, hidden gem colors. It's this goldeny olive shade, and honestly, I just have been loving it for all over the lids. So I've just been putting the soft brown and the Swiss chocolate and then putting this with my ring finger all over my lid just to give this, like olive green moment it has like these golden flecks in it that I think makes it extremely wearable and honestly throughout the day it's less of an olivey color and it's more of like this like dirty golden is what it sort of wears to at least on my eye it looks like like at the end of the day when I look at myself I'm like that looks more of like a dirty golden color so I just kind of put it all over very haphazardly you guys this is just this is my honest little routine, so I mean, you don't have to be a makeup artist for this, just a girl who loves makeup like me, um, throwing it on. So that's what I do. If you have Max Sumptuous Olive in your collection, I'm telling you, it's like one of those forgotten shades, but it's been a favorite of mine. I have just loved it so much. So that's what I do, and then I just go in. I'm going to, I haven't really been putting eyeliner on. So I've just kind of been putting that on and then I'll put on mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on mascara. I don't have any like different mascaras that I'm using. Um, I'm just going to use this one from Lancome. And I, I, like I said, there's nothing special that I've been using that I want to like, hey, this is such a great mascara. I really love, um, this is like my favorite mascara, the Essence Slash Princess. I really love that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw on some mascara and then we'll come back for the rest of the face. Okay, another thing I got from the Korean Beauty Haul is this. It's a Sugar Twinkle, um, number three. It's like a very beautiful, let me just show you. It's basically like the Stila liquid glitter things. So I'm just going to put like just a tap of that on. I haven't been wearing this because like I said, I'm not really going all full glam and this is for sure when you're wearing glitter, it's not just chilling. Um, but for the sake of showing you this product, it's so beautiful. It's definitely one of those products that I feel like you should have in your collection. Very, very affordable. I think it's like around $8. So like, I'm going to leave all this, like I said, linked on Yes Style, but I've just been loving it. And I just want to talk about this face wash also that I got from Yes Style. It's the Back to Pure Daily. This is from Thank You Farmer. Um, foaming Gel Cleanser. It's for sensitive skin. I got this for me and my daughters. Oh my goodness. It's just, it smells so good. It's just got this really light, fresh scent, and it's just very easy on the skin like super easy on the skin I think if you have any teens 
or if you yourself have sensitive skin it just has a really nice froth to it but you just need like a tiny little pump I love the bottle it's like this matte teal color I don't, I don't know if that matters to some people but to me it does um, but this is just I really love this I like the froth that it builds the cleanliness the way that it leaves my skin also this is from my Korean Beauty haul it's another lip mask this is from the brand Calavu I'm not saying it right K-L-A-V-U-U -U. nourishing care lip sleeping pack this is also very affordable. It's very it's very similar to the Laneige sleeping mask. It, I think it's just a little bit more affordable. It's a little bit more, dare I say, like shinier. I don't want to say that I like this one better, but I really, really have liked this. If you like the... Um, if you like the one from Laneige, I think you'll really love this. And I again have been loving it. It's been one of my favorite things that I've tried. So I tried to include all of my like, favorite things. Another skincare product that I wanted to talk about. This is from Pharmacy. Like, <laughs> look, I haven't even, I've been using this and like it hasn't even hardly made a dent. This is the Deep Sweep 2% um, BHA Pore Cleansing Toner. You guys, I really, really have been loving this. So after I wash my face with that cleanser, I've used this on a cotton pad before I put on my moisturizers and I just really have loved this. It makes my pores feel really clean and I just feel like it's that last like final sweep before I'm putting on product to make sure all of the product that I was wearing um, is off my face before I'm putting on my skincare. Let's move on to my foundation. Yeah, L3 from Flower Beauty. Honestly, I don't know. Does Flower Beauty still carry their makeup anymore? I feel like I haven't heard very much about them, but I really love that foundation. Ooh, this might be like a little bit light for me right now, but I haven't been wearing very much foundation, so I maybe this is a touch light for me because I'm pretty tan right now, but I just need something to like kind of even my skin tone out, so maybe we'll just go in with a pretty light wash of this and then I want to show you a bronzer I ordered from Sephora that I've been loving recently um like oh yeah see I have this like these spots up here from not taking care of my skin and wearing sunscreen quick enough like as a teenager I just thought I could get away with it and like all that kind of stuff just kind of pops out when you're getting older so I didn't use very much foundation because I just, I feel like that foundation is a little bit light right now because I am more tan than normal. Same from Flower Beauty. I love this concealer. I hope they still have this. Like, like I said, I haven't heard of Flower Beauty products and last time I went to my Walmart, I honestly, I didn't see them. So I'm like, are they still making Flower Beauty products right now? Or did they just kind of take it out of my Walmart all right um so I've really been using like CC creams so I haven't been using like a ton of products uh, but one of the things I love is like just like a light coverage CC cream and then I've been using this from Kaja this is their shady number one beachy stamp the color is number one and it has like a stamp up top I haven't even tried that I'm just like forget it I just use this like it's like a sponge and it's a really pretty natural color I use the Smith brush to apply it and I just kind of dip in right here and then I use it just like that dip it in and then I kind of just use it to like buff so even if right, like right now I had that super light foundation, I can kind of, you know, sort of buff this product in and help out my really light foundation that I put on. But I've just been using this. I love using cream products, especially in the summertime because they really just look more natural and forgiving. Um, and like I said, this is... I, I seriously love this. I think it's such a pretty color. It's almost like super easy application. So just kind of put that all over. And maybe I went a little bit heavy on my forehead. So I'm just going to buff that out with the original brush that I put my foundation on. 
If you want to, you can go in with bronzer. Sometimes I do like a powder bronzer. NARS came out with a really great new collection. They came out with matte bronzers um, in their line. So I'm going to use Casino and I'm just going to do just a little, a light, just sort of dusting of that. And I want to try out a product that I've been using um, that I got from that haul. But first I want to use this. This is from MAC and it's called Heat Index. So this is the Glow Play Blush. These are almost like cream blushes. Like you can like stick your finger in, you see the imprint. I, I love the formula of these. This color is like very, very fresh, like corally, like my shirt. So I kind of just take a stippling brush and just lightly put that on. And then this is called Nude Drop Lumi Cheek. I got this from Yes Style. This is in Bronzed Honey. And it's this beautiful, glowy, dewy, sort of like highlighter, bronzy blush color. So I kind of am just going to tap that all over my cheeks and I love the look of this. It just gives like very, very fresh skin. I'm also going to go in with a highlighter, but I just want to tap that like over my cream product. This is such a great color. They have a bunch of colors, but I really love this bronzed honey color. For my highlighter, I'm going to use, I've been using this from Madison Miller. This is the highlighter in Sea Shimmer. I just love this color. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm going to use it to highlight my, um, brow bone, my inner corners to go in with it. So I'm first I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it like a little bit under my arches of my brow. And then I'm going to put it in my inner corner. It's almost got like a little bit of like a pinky hue to it. Sort of like a pinky hue. Wow. I, I went a little bit ham. So I'm just going to use this to sort of buff that around a, a wee bit. All right, so I'm just gonna take this down the bridge of my nose and highlight it a little bit right here and right here. I love this. We're gonna go in and do my lower lash line as well. All right, lower lash line. I almost forgot about it. I'm gonna take that espresso color, or no, I'm gonna take the Swiss chocolate color that we originally used, the darker of the two. So we have soft brown and Swiss chocolate. I'm going to take the Swiss chocolate color and just kind of put that right under the eye. And then I'm going to go in. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Sumptuous Olive on that lower lash line. And just to pull that in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of lower lash mascara on. And loving, just like I said, that Sumptuous Olive color. I just really like it. I feel like it especially brings out blue, green eyes, brown eyes, even hazel eyes. Like it's a very good color for a lot of different eye colors. And a product I wanted to talk to you about, I'm not putting it on. I hope they still have this color. This is the Coco Cabana Bronze Glow Oil from Sol de Janeiro. I love their glow oils. I've tried a whole bunch of different kinds of glow oils, and theirs are always my favorite. I like them because they don't feel too sticky. They don't transfer. This did, so I like it because I'm tanner in the summer, and I just kind of put it all over my arms and my legs. Um, so I really, really enjoy that one. Take my hair down a little bit. Um, I really enjoy that one, and I just I think it's a I think it's a really great one. Uh, for my lip product, I think I'm going to go in with, I love these from NARS, these, these sheer lipsticks. And this one is in Start Your Engines, and it's just like a little bit of a corally color. Since I already have that lip gloss on, I just kind of want like a tint to my lips, like just a little bit of a, like a, you know what I'm saying? So going in with that on top of the lip gloss is just going to give like a very juicy like tint. Plus these are super juicy because they are just such a sheer formula. So if you are wanting to experiment with color, that's a great product. Like I just love those. Obviously they don't have like the longevity. They're not going to stay forever because they're more of like a balmy product. But if you're looking for something, they're a good one. And the last thing I've been loving, well, I always love these glosses from... Uh, Pat McGrath and I got a new one in this is faux real faux real. I love this one 
such a good color. So that is like my everyday look and some of my favorites that I've been loving. I know this was like a super random video. It's like, I love this, I love this. I got a bunch of tops from The Loft. They had a huge sale, so I've been loving shopping at The Loft. Like I've never shopped at The Loft before, but um, I got a bunch of cute tank tops from The Loft and from Abercrombie. Some really cute stuff from Target. If you guys would be interested in like a clothing haul, I haven't done one of those in a really long time. I did one called I'm a size large. Now I'm a size medium, but would you still like to see a haul? Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. It's like my everyday makeup look that I've been doing. Super simple and it really is everyday and I feel like it's easy. Like I said, we kind of just threw on the eyeshadows and used our finger and like smudge stuff around and stuff, but these have been the products that I've been using that I've been loving. If you're interested in any of that K-beauty stuff or anything that I've talked about, I'm going to try and link it all. The last thing I want to talk about is this toothbrush. I know that sounds crazy, but I love this toothbrush. They reached out to me and they're like, hey, can we send you our toothbrush? And I'm like, sure. This is from Burst and I really love it. It it's a nice easy one to travel with obviously we have like a detachable head easy carrying case so you can travel with it when i go to michigan in the summers i think this will be super nice it stays it holds its charge for one full month so you don't have to like constantly every night put it on the charger which is something that i really love and appreciate the bristles are charcoal bristles so over time they whiten your teeth and it has like several different pulses it has that and massage and for sensitive so I really love it I feel like it gets your teeth super clean like you know when you're brushing da, 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 I feel like this just like the vibrations of it just really get your teeth very very clean they did give me a discount code to share with you guys if you are interested so I did want to share that with you which I'll leave everything linked down below this is what the charger looks like and like I said once a month you just give it a little charge up so you know it's very very user friendly and I love how clean like I said my teeth get after using it just because like the vibrations just they just knock everything off so been loving that I think that's it oh my goodness so many products and I feel like I haven't like I said talked in a really long time or shared some of my favorites in a really long time so now I had a ton to share so I know this is gonna be a really long video but thank you guys so much for watching I know I haven't been the most consistent poster for that I do apologize uh, but I will try to be making videos again like this quarantine everything that's been happening I've been trying to be present with my kids I do have a little bit more time now that the summers are opened up and next week my kids are going with their grandparents for a whole week so I'm gonna try and film a ton of videos so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video Mwah.